that was probably one of the best movies of this year, of 2024. I've never seen a trailer for his three daughters, but I've been reading a bunch of news articles talking about uh, the development of this movie. And I know it has Elizabeth Olsen in it, and you know me, I love anything with Elizabeth. I'll watch anything with Elizabeth Olsen in it. I just watched her, uh, oh, I finally got up to it, um, Love and Death. I think it was on, uh, it was on, it's on Max. And, um, my God, this movie was exceptional the performances given by the cast um carrie coon um i forgot her name natasha leone is it elizabeth or natasha leone leon oh my god i'm so sorry for her for uh forgetting her name and then of course elizabeth olsen so if you don't know anything about this movie, it's about these three, a trio, these three daughters who I guess they re, I, I didn't read the synopsis for the film um, until after I watched the movie. And it's about like a trio of these sisters who I guess they reunite, they come back, you know, they reunite, they come back together to take care of their, I guess their, their dying father. And, dude, like, I am so sick of people paying attention to, like, these, to these movies about, like, superheroes and superpowers, like, Deadpool and Wolverine, and, and, like, these big, ginormous franchises. Meanwhile, movies like this, His Three Daughters, don't get any attention these these little movies that don't get any attention and some of these movies some of them are indie movies low budgeted uh w w you know which has a low budget they don't get any attention like they fly over people's head or fly under the radar and people haven't noticed them and i i'm i'm so upset about that because people need to see movies like this and people need to start paying attention and focusing on movies such as this instead of movies like with explosions and actions and s like shit like Deadpool and Wolverine. And don't get me wrong, like I love Deadpool and Wolverine, but I saw the movie four times and after and after I watched the movie the fourth time, I really start started disliking that movie more, but you guys need to check his three daughters on Netflix. My God, the acting, the, the performances is great. My God, like the emotional, like there's really nothing going on. It's just these three, these characters just, and their relationships and the sh they, they bring up their struggles and the emotional weight but also it feels very warming like i just i don't know it feels very warming warming uh, and cozy um my god his three daughters this is definitely going to be on my list of or my top 10 list of the best movies of 2024 it's that good Check it out, guys. Check this movie out, His Three Daughters, on Netflix. Thank you so much, everyone, for taking time to listening to my review, my thoughts. And I'll see you in my next video.